I've been rolling out this dough and you would be surprised this is only a third of the dough we made earlier. So let's get started. I've rolled this out nice and thin. You can see how nice and easy it is to use. Look at that, isn't that great? So the best way to do this is to take a pizza wheel and just to slice. It doesn't have to be exact. And if you have little kids, slice this up for them and then let them do the hard work for you. My three-year-old loves to put these together. She doesn't do them great, but she likes to do them. So I'm just gonna slice these. And then I'm gonna get my little tray. And let's fold some back. Look at that, look how easy those are. So you've got your little square. All you're gonna do is just push it down in the middle and then just kind of tuck it all in. Give it a little nip and tuck. Gives it a nice little um, crust here and then just move on to the next. And this is the part that my daughter loves to do. It, it does not come out pretty, but it's adorable. And who cares what they look like as long as they taste delicious. So, make one more, and then we're gonna start filling them. Because I could sit here all day long and put these together, but we don't have that much time. All right, so now you see how nice, and you can just push them up against the sides. See how nice and form these are. Then I'm just gonna add some of my sauce. Again, it's uncooked because you're gonna stick it into the oven, so no big deal. Now, if you love this pizza recipe, go ahead and make it into a really big pizza. Just instead of putting it in at the prescribed um, 450 degrees, go ahead and do it at 500 degrees for about 10 minutes and just put it on a big pizza stone. Now I'm going to add a little bit of basil. Basil's oh so good for you. If you want to go ahead and add some pepperoni, some um, chicken sausage is really, really good, especially Italian. And then you just cover the tops. And you're done. You're going to stick it in the oven at 450 degrees. And then they come out like these little guys. How sweet is that? They're so delicious. And with this wine, it's like a match made in heaven. We did so many different pizza recipes when we first started this, and I promise you this is the best one. So I've let these cool. I'm gonna go ahead and try it, and happy cooking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You wanna try this, you know you do.